So how has the 300 CRF performed on this trip? So far we've done about 7,500 miles and I'd say it's performed pretty well in actual fact. It averages around about 100 miles to the gallon. Um, much better at altitude, believe it or not. Um, must be the, the lean air like, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's running well. But it does lack power. That, that is, there's no doubt about it, okay. So what have we done to the bike um, to get it here? Start at the top, put the bark busters on, put the heated grips on, put on some rocks bar risers and some different bars from Renthal. Much better for someone of my size. The other bars were just too flat. Oxford grips are really good. I mounted my Garmin up at the front here. I made my own bracket. Um, bit of aluminium and some clamps. But it works really well in actual fact and tucks it nicely inside. That's very important to have a little retainer on there. Put on some USB sockets, work well. Using the uh, fold away mirrors and RAM mounts for cameras, really good. Endura stand bag, like that so far. Comes off really quick and easy when you want to get access to the fuel. Crash bars are good, they look nice and they work, but they are a bit, a bit like butter. It's only been down once and it folded quite easily and it wasn't a big crash. Um, what else have we done? <clears throat> I put on a, uh, a rack and that really works well with the Moscow Moto. Um, it secures on so easy and so quick. I also put on one of the uh, Moto X stainless steel exhausts and that's so far, oh, I don't know if it, it doesn't really increase the power. It doesn't make it any louder, but it does lose about three kilos. So that, that's really pretty good in nature effect. Um, the bags have proven to be good, uh, to tell the truth. I like them, uh, work very well, easy in and out, good access. Um, yeah, apart from that, I changed the rear shock. You can see in there, put a YSS on there. Difficult to know whether that's been an improvement, but it is firmer. Uh, it's got better rebound, uh, so like that. Also changed the front spring, um, a little bit heavier, better to suit some of my weight, so there is less sag when you get on the bike. Um, uh, lots of little small modifications, like rubber flaps. Um, this one works particularly well. I just made it up and it stops a lot of crap getting inside. Um, a few other little bits and bobs. Frame tectors, they work well. Um, save all the scratching. Put the helicopter tape around the plastics and that, I would suggest so far, seems to have worked. Um, yeah, that's about it really. So overall, very impressed. But lack of power down the highways 55 miles an hour is okay, but it's dull sometimes. So it does encourage the trails, and on this side, it performs very well.